Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on everything Huda Beauty, like that I own. Yeah, I thought it would be a fun video to do and also incorporate like a review on the new Desert Dusk palette, which I absolutely love. But I created this eye look with it. I'm really happy with it, guys. And I really wanted to do this video because I haven't done a video dedicated to Huda Beauty yet. I love Huda Beauty. I feel like it's one of my most favorite high-end brands. I do believe she's cruelty-free as well, which is a huge thumbs up from me. Um, she has amazing products and I feel like she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's talking about and her eyeshadow palettes are the best thing ever. So I just did wanted to do this video because I just love her products and her as well. I feel like I don't I don't usually fangirl, but if I ever met her, I probably will fangirl. But anyways, um, I hope you guys will enjoy this video and we'll jump straight into it. This is what the palette looks like. It has this really nice reflective thing to it and this retails for £56 and then obviously when you open it, it looks stunning and it also comes with a mirror this time. And I do feel like that the um, packaging feels much more sturdier because maybe the mirror is in it but I still love both. They're like sisters so I have to love both. So it says on here, eight, there's 18 shadows in four ready to layer textures. So eight buttery mattes, six pressed pearls, uh, three duochrome toppers, and one daring glitter. Mix and layer textures to create your own look. D dab the toppers on the center or all over your lid for a shiny pop. Lay an extra coat using your fingers for an extreme iridescent effect. Apply the pure glitter all over or line eyes with a firm flat brush to give your look a playful hint of shine. I'm gonna basically talk you through this look that I've created. And I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer first and I'm just going to dab this all over my lid. My base. This is actually a really good concealer as an eyeshadow base. Then to set that in, I'm gonna use the shade Desert Sand just brushed that all over so the first shade that I took for my crease was Eden and with this I just really buff this into my crease area then I'm going to take the shade blazing with another brush and really blend this into the crease as well I feel like I can always do this eye better than this one it's really hard for me to do this eye. Keep building. I do feel like they blend easy, but I just feel like with some colors, I do need to layer a few layers. I mean, they are super pigmented when you swatch them, but then when I try to put them on my eye, I just need to put a bit more layers, but I'm not bothered by that. Because when you're done, you get the result you want, you know? And like, that's quite intense. The colors do blend very well with each other as well. There's only like a couple of shades I was iffy about, but I'll tell you about those in a bit. It's quite nice, isn't it? Then I'm going to go in with Saffron, which is kind of like a reddish, like a deep red. I'm just going to go underneath that orange. I feel like here I've just blended everything together, so I'm going to have to do that. So that's a red with the orange. Then I'm going to grab the shade Oud. So Oud was the one I had a bit of trouble with sometimes. Like when I tried to lay I mean I probably won't have issues with this eye. But this eye had some issues in this area. Maybe it's my skin that's really dry on my lid. But we'll see if this, can, this eye can blend a bit easier. I'm going to tap it. I feel like that's coming a bit better. Yeah, that's giving me much less trouble than this eye. It's building up beautifully. I would definitely say like with Oud, pack it up rather than going straight with swiping. I do wish though that there was a darker, darker shade in this palette, but I have my rose gold palette, so I'm not that bothered about it. But you bear in mind that Oud is the darkest colour and it's like a really nice kind of, I would say like, I don't even know what to call this, like a neutral brown? 
warm brown kind of like a i don't even know i'm really bad with warm neutrals and cool tones and then i'm going to grab a bit of concealer the same tarte shape tip concealer on the back of my hand and i'm going to take a really flat brush and cut the crease Before like the concealer starts to crease, I'm gonna get the shade, what did I use first? So with a flat brush, I'm gonna use Amethyst, which is kind of like a, I think this is one of the pearls because it has a slight shimmer to it, but it looks like it's matte. I don't even know if this is matte. Wherever I put the concealer, basically. Okay, so that's Amethyst beautiful i love the color and purple colors are really good for brown eyes so i knew i had to get this palette because i have the darkest eyes on earth so what i did is i grabbed twilight on a flat brush and really packed this in the kind of like the first section of that crack crease we did i did watch like other reviews of this palette and some people with twilight their twilight was kind of crumbling, but I think I got a good palette because mine is very strong in the palette. That's my twilight, and it's like firmly in there. This is definitely a really pretty color. It's like a lilac color, but with bluish, baby bluish reflex. And then what I'd like to do is just go in with my finger and really look at the difference, like intense. It is sometimes hard to like stay under the line that we created though, but we're gonna go in with that glitter. But yeah, it does say in the palette to use like your finger for extra like effect and it definitely does do that. And then what I did is I used retrograde with my finger and I just packed this on the outer corner and kind of mixed the two. I really wanted to experiment with both colours. Retrograde is not as vibrant, it's just like brownie mauve but with blue. So you see the bluey reflex more on this one, whilst with Twilight you see more of that lilac overall colour. So that's just Retrograde and Twilight for you, I really like them. Now on to like the cut crease, so what I did, I grabbed my Revlon Lash Glue, which is my favourite lash glue. Skin Face Beauty actually recommended this to me and oh my god it's like the only lash glue I ever use now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my cut crease. And I grabbed a really 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 thin brush and grabbed Cosmo. And just lightly place it where you've put your lash glue. Look how pretty that is. I mean, it's not showing up on camera like I want it to. It's Cosmo on the crease. Now, on the back of this palette, it does say to use the glitter all over light eyes with a flat brush. Guys, when I first got this palette and I played around with it, I tried to put it on my lid and it was just not sticking. Like, it was just, like, falling everywhere and just... It wasn't just on my... It, was on my, it wasn't on my eye by the end of it. Like, I put so much on my lid and it was just all over my face at the, by the end of, like, the blending. So, what I would recommend is that if you're going to use Cosmo... Use it with some type of glitter glue or lash glue like I did. Um, it would be so nice if you had glitter glue all over and then just tap that on. It would be the most intense glitter of all time. Um, but I just find that on its own it doesn't work that great. Like it just doesn't adhere to the skin. It just blows out everywhere. Um, and it's really hard to get precision if you just put it on with your finger. If you're not doing precision and even if you try to just wash it wash it all over the lid it didn't stick for me so yeah that's why i've used a lash glue let me show you a close-up this is just a quick close-up of cosmo i definitely feel like i did this eye better it's always the case for me i'm just gonna put a little bit more of oud okay so now i'm just gonna put some liner
you do get like a ton of fallout as well. Well, not a ton, but you do get some fallout though. Just bear in mind, the glitter does kind of fall everywhere. I did use some of that first setting shade that we used just to highlight my brow bone. Alright, so that's the eye look. I'm just going to... Obviously because I'm using everything I own from Huda, I'm going to be using some lashes. I got Jade Lashes, which was kindly given to me like as a gift with purchase when I went to get my palette from Harrods. Okay, so I've just put the, my lashes on and I've also done my foundation and my base kind of thing. Not just the foundation because I'm just filming another video. Um, a really exciting video actually. Um, I think it's exciting. But anyways, I'm going to apply some concealer under my eyes, my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to use my Kat Von D loose setting powder just to quickly set that in place. I'm going to use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I'm just going to brush the excess off. going to also apply some of my favourite blush at the moment which is the uh, LA Girl Just Blushing Blush in Just Peachy. Love it so much. Okay now onto my Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I'm going to, I'm not going to use the cream because obviously I set my face. Um, and I also like to use a cream with a bit of oil and I don't have any oil with me. So what I really like to do is mix Tahiti and Seychelles. Look at that, that's just Tahiti. Tahiti is the one that goes like all over like my face, like on my temples to highlight my cupid's bow now. Seychelles. And that's just going to go right on the top, not too much, because you literally don't need too much with these. That's stunning. Okay, oh, oh my god, I almost dropped my baby. I'm just going to set everything, well, just my, just my face. I'm then going to use some of my Primark Toffee Lip Pencil with the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Girlfriend, which is my go-to lip colour. It's like my most favourite one. If you were to ask me what's my favourite lip colour, it's Girlfriend. But I always need it with a brown lip liner. It's quite light. Also, if you were to ask me what's my favourite liquid lipstick, it would definitely be Huda Beauty Liquid Matte, they're the best. While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to take some of my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I'm going to grab the shade Blazing and just apply that on my lower lashes. Really buff that out. And I'm also going to grab some of Oud and really like go close to my lash line. And then I'm going to take a bit of Celestial and place that right in that inner corner. Now I need to get my mascara. I'll be right back guys. Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. All right guys, that's my face with everything Huda Beauty that I own. I'm really, really bad at swatching. Desert Sand is perfect for setting. Musk is actually really pigmented and it would be perfect for me on the crease. Um, Eden is a lovely, unique kind of shade for the crease or all over. It's just a perfect colour. They're all pigmented, like all the mattes are pigmented. Amber is like a nice brick red kind of colour and I love it as well. Blood Moon is, oh my god, I'm dying to use Blood Moon but I'll probably do another video on that. But that is like, when you touch Blood Moon it's like so buttery. And then Oud is like a nice warm, I would say warm brown when I look at it. It's super pigmented, but you do need to be careful when you blend it. But to be honest, I, I didn't have a bad time on my right eye. <laughs> so it's just my my left eye that I struggle with. But to be honest, when you start packing it on, it works better. Then on to the second row. Celestial is 
a stunning color it does have some reflex of pink in it pink and gold i would say and then nefreti is more of like a glitter like a sparkle it does have chunks of gold glitter in it and then twilight is a stunning lilac shade with blue reflex in it amethyst is a stunning matte i would call it matte purple like a true purple shade royal is like a stunning kind of like true royal color like it's just a nice i would say metallic shade retrograde is like a mauvey shade with blue reflex in it and then onto the third row cashmere is like your true kind of grayish mauvey color it's more of like a metallic and angelic is like my favorite color and i'm so happy that i have this in this palette because i feel like in my rose gold palette that would be the first shade i would run out of so i'm really glad i have another one in this palette cosmo is like a true glitter so i would recommend using it with lash glue or glitter glue but when you use it with lash glue or glitter glue it's the most stunning thing ever uh turkish delight is again like a really pigmented buttery color saffron is like a true saffron red i feel like the colors are so true um and the it's just like really pigmented and blazing as well it's just like a really pigmented orangey color and i feel like the mattes you do need to layer a bit but i'm not bothered with that i would probably rate my little baby palette a 10 out of 10 i love huda beauty i love her products and i'm just really happy i have this like the quality of these shadows are really good you just need to know how to use it and she did say that this is more of like an artistic palette so you can use this every day even but yeah the, i can see how this would be more like artistic because it's definitely got more bolder colors than the other one but other than that i love all my Huda beauty products look at the highlight look at the highlight <laughs> um I will probably do another video once she has her foundation out and I can get my hands on it and pro I'll probably get other bits from her range like different shades of her palettes and liquid lipsticks and lip liners and I'll do another video like this if you really liked it so make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're new I love you guys and I'll see you next time bye